Hi love, Zeta here. So today I'm actually at my office on my day off, so you know that I'm dedicated to make this video. I want to show you how I decorated my cubicle because I got to thinking, and I realized that if you're working about 40 hours a week, 50 weeks a year, you're spending about 2,000 hours, if not more, in your cubicle or your office. So with that being said, I think it's really important to make sure that your space reflects your personal style, that it motivates you, that inspires you. So I got to work in, and I want to show you what my cubicle looks like so this is my area at a glance everything in here like I said makes me feel happy as you can tell it's super girly my favorite colors are either blue pink some yellows and those are the colors that I tried to keep in here so let me walk you through every single little thing now this is a desk of drawers where I keep just work stuff that I kind of just have to have for my team but aside from that everything on top is here by design so the first thing that I have here is this a tin painting or I guess you know graphic from Amazon but it says Paris and all my favorite colors and if you know me you know I love Paris I lived there in my early 20s and I used to visit a lot so I love it it's one of my biggest goals in life to move back for at least one year and having this here just motivates me and inspires me to work harder so that I can achieve that goal now moving on to this here this is just from Target as far as organizing everything it keeps it simple and I really like it now this little guy I got at a blogger event and it's just a spray it really smells like a spa when I spray it it's from keep Pure, and it smells really good like I said it smells like a spa and I asked my co-workers so they're okay with me spraying it and I spray it when I want a little boost of energy or I just feel bored now this here are coasters I'm always drinking something especially water or tea and these are coasters in the shape of a typewriter which my boss gave to me because she knows that I love to write and she found it suiting for me to you know get those as a gift so now moving on to this this little cork board I got from Goodwill but you know you can get that anywhere it won't hang because I wanted to hang it up I just thought it would look more balanced but um, it's too heavy so we're gonna do what we gotta do so um, this I got from Target it because I really like the print and it was only a dollar I just think it's really cute I love floral anything now speaking of drivers motivation I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for my mom she is so strong and I love her so much so I wanted to have a picture of her plus everyone says that we look just alike in this picture so um, that's why I chose that one moving on to the bottom that's Leo in a nutshell. When I'm at work, this is all he does all day. And then when I get home, that's when he takes it as a cue for him to get super hyper. And that's when he starts playing. But um, while I'm over here, you know, busting my ass, he's over here sleeping. And it just cracks me up. It's so cute. Now, this here is a strip of my photo booth. I don't know if you know, but me and Alan own a photo booth business. Alan is my boyfriend. And this is one of the first strips that we took uh, when we started testing out our photo booth. Plus, I really love the font because it's like so like beginning of digital age kind of style, which is when we grew up as kids. So I really like that. This little print with the New Yorker I got from a trip to um, New York City. And I do try to sprinkle in a few souvenirs you'll see. This is a picture of me and Alan. This is like technically our um, business photo that we took in front of our photo booth and I really like it. And lastly, I have these little um, sticky notes which I'll give you a little bit of insight into. So basically, this is my favorite quote. Quote, every day is a new opportunity to be a better version of yourself. And I really like it because every day I really do want to push myself to be a better me, whether that's at work or my personal life, etc. So this here is just a, um, something that represents um, 10 years, 10 dreams, one goal. This concept I got from Rachel Hollis in her latest book, Girl Stop Apologizing. And basically you write down 10 dreams that you want to accomplish in 10 years and essentially everything should marry itself into one goal and I want to keep this here just to remind me on what are my biggest drivers and why I do what I do. Now, lastly on this side is this little nugget. This little baby girl, she is from Rio de Janeiro from Brazil. She is so cute! So she was handmade from an artist there and I bought it at this place called the Hippie Market and she was handmade, hand painted and it, she's just such a cute representation of what I wish I was doing tanning in a thong but I mean um, at the same time she's just so cute that it, to me she doesn't give like a vulgar kind of approach but hopefully people won't say anything if they do then I might have to take her home but for now she's gonna live here and then these are just books um, that either uh, make me happy or help me 
Now moving on to my desk area. Okay, so this is my planner. I've shown this planner. It's the day's designer from Target. Um, it's a really beautiful planner, the way it's structured, the message behind it. I actually don't write anything that's work related in my planner. I only write things that are like part of my dreams or my businesses on the side or just things like my fitness. So I try to keep this away from work because I do sometimes just want to go from like work to something that kind of inspires me a little bit more. And that's why I keep that, you know, as a personal planner. Now, I do obviously keep notes for work and things like that, but those are all digital. Nothing fancy about my computer, but it does a job. Now, what I do love about my computer is the backdrop screen. Nothing will work unless you do, because I really do think anybody can accomplish anything if they set their mind to. And believe it or not, a lot of people say they want to do stuff, say they want stuff, but they actually never put in the work. So if you're willing to put in work to get where you want to be, you're already ahead of so many people. And that alone is a big driver for me, at least. Now, this cup is from Starbucks, but it is in collaboration with Bando, which is one of my favorite companies. I love their graphics. I love their things. They're so cute. And I try to drink two of these a day before I leave work at least, which would equal about 40 ounces. This is the last little corner of my desk. This is a frame that I got from a friend, and the picture inside is of me and Alan. So this is the beginning of 2018 when we decided that we were going to do better things. We were going to work harder and together to build a better life. And we have been following through with our promises and our goals that we set for that year. So that's why I really like this picture. And then here I have my favorite flowers. Now my favorite flowers seem to change quite often but for now these are it. Eventually I do want to get a plant so that I don't have to spend money buying fresh flowers. But for now that's what I have. Now, back here, I didn't want to make it, like, too, like, um, you know, cluttered. That's why I kind of just keep that back there. But I do have this mug that I got from Marshalls. Sometimes I want to drink green tea, so I like to have my own mug. And then I do have a little box of uh, essentials, if you will. This is something that I got from Paris, so another souvenir, and I'll show you what I have inside. Alrighty, so the things in here are just basically necessities. Lotion, floss, toothpaste, tampons, Tide stick to go, um, and some toothpaste. I do have a clip in here somewhere, and I also was supposed to have a nail filer, but I don't know where I put it. Because, you know, sometimes your nail will just break, and it will bug you and bug you. So... Anyway, those are the things that I think are most important to keep um, at work since, again, we spend so much time here. Now, at a glance, this is what it looks like with the chair in there. I do want to get a faux fur throw, like a brown one to put over the chair. I think that would look so cute, but I haven't found one, so for now, that's what it looks like. And I do have a trash can that the company provides that's in there. I kind of just hide it because it's not attractive, so... I just leave it there but that's basically what my cube looks like um, every day this is what my work space is and where I spend the majority of my time and the last thing that's really cool is I have a stand my desk actually is a stand-up desk if I want to move it up so I'm super blessed to have that <laughs> I think now I made it too high Alrighty, love. so basically that's what my work desk looks like I really do enjoy coming here and you know enjoying it how I decorated it and everything like that I do like what I do I'm actually a marketing coordinator in case you were gonna ask um, and I've learned a lot at my job and I'm really happy and grateful to be here so obviously I want the space to reflect the fact that I want this to be a happy place anyway let me know what you think of this video subscribe if you enjoyed it if you do decorate your cube or just want to show me what it looks like feel free to tag me on Instagram and hope you have a great day a wonderful work week. Stay positive and bisous. Bye. Bye.